Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video uh, to continue practicing hemiola. Uh, I know I look like Casper right now. There's a window right here. We're just going to deal with it. Uh, so these are a couple drills to get you used to toggling between three and two and then actually superimposing them. As we go on week 11, week 12, you're gonna have some three over two polyrhythms. So this will be a good kind of gateway to get you there. So I'm gonna put a metronome on, and it's just going to click with no um, designation of a downbeat. So let's get that started. So your first step is going to be to divide in threes, and I'm gonna have you actually clap just on the big downbeat. So we're grouping in six overall. So what I mean by that is just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Super easy. Now we're going to take that same grouping of six and I'm going to divide it into twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So when you're just clapping on the big downbeat, it's not hard at all. Now we're going to alternate. You're going to do a full measure of three and then a full measure of twos, and just alternate between the two of them. Ready, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you just keep doing that over and over, you'll get used to trading between the two of them while keeping the subdivision consistent. So the eighth note in this case is staying the same. Now we're going to further subdivide your clapping. So you are going to clap every time you say one. So we'll start with just threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we'll switch to twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And now we're going to trade a measure of threes, a measure of twos, and trade between them. Ready, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that is a really good exercise to just, again, get you acclimated to trading between threes and twos seamlessly. Now, once you get used to that, you can start to try and superimpose them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to consistently clap in three groupings, but I'm going to change my subdivisions vocally. I'm gonna go from a measure of three to a measure of twos, and then a measure of threes to a measure of twos. But my clapping is going to consistently stay with the three grouping. So it'll sound something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can hear and once you start doing it, feel that your clapping and your numbers phase in and out with one another. Now you can do it the other way. So now I'm gonna do it again, but I'm going to clap the two subdivisions and I'm gonna alternate my numbers between twos and threes. So it will phase in and out again, but just kind of the opposite way. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the more kind of aggressively you can accent the ones when you say them, that will really reinforce the discord when you're clapping and your numbers are phasing out. Now, the other thing that you can do with this, clapping is great and I actually always use that as my first tool, um, but what it's really simulating is where you would be conducting. So it's, it's standing in for where your conducting pattern beats would be. So the next step then would be getting used to conducting while you're speaking the numbers. And you would go about it in the same trajectory. So I'm going to Cliff Notes version, go through all of that. So we're gonna start with just threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just feels like six, eight, right? Now we're gonna to switch to twos. 
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just feels like three, four. Now let's trade. We're still keeping our conducting and our numbers in phase with one another. We're just going to alternate between six, eight feel and three, four feel. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then once you get used to that, then you can start switching between threes and twos while keeping a consistent conducting pattern. So let's start with, we'll conduct a six, eight pattern. So you're conducting three groupings, groupings of three. Um, and then the sun is coming out and it's just turning me paler and paler. <laughs> and then we're going to switch from speaking like we're in six, eight and speaking like we're in three, four. So let's try that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can feel the phasing, but the challenge with the conducting is you have to keep your pattern really clear. That's why I start you with clapping, because it's if you screw that up, you can tell immediately. But your conducting pattern has to be really clear. Let's try with uh, conducting a three, four pattern. So you'll start speaking three, four, and then you'll trade every other measure. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to turn this off because it's really annoying. Take all of those little exercises and play around with them. And there are tons of variations you can do. Uh, you can do two hands. You can tap with two hands. Um, you can do one hand playing a, a note on a piano while you speak the other hand. You can step. So you can actually just like stand up and shift your weight back and forth for your beats. Um, the, the really fun part about this is there are tons of ways to get it in your body. So if you're like me and you're a really kinesthetic person, you need to kind of feel where everything is. Um, so there are tons of ways that you can do that. I tap on my collarbone a lot. I know you've seen me do that in class. Um, so any way that you can kind of put it in, in your system uh, to get the feel for it will be really helpful. Uh, I will come back with polyrhythm drills in about a week to give you some really concrete ways to practice three against two. But that's a good kind of head start for you to get used to trading between the two of them and sort of get the feel for it. All right, I hope that was helpful uh, and I'll see you guys soon.